There we go. We. It's still peculiar that she appears to be an undead harpy. Yeah, she looks like a weird zombie harpy. Right, because her ribs are exposed on the sides. She's wearing her flesh-like leggings, and she has exposed bones for her heels and feet. And her face moves as though it's face paint, but who knows? Could be skull-like as well. Ah, good one. But yeah, this is just a test to see if you've figured out the double jump. And the answer is, yep. Figure that out. Why is there a big dog? Because Lanshi is a is a good dog, He's and he has got the best AOE power of any character in this game, I think. Which is pretty much just like he wide barks? range borking. I mean, we we live with it every day. Working, working travels, and it inflicts never-ending pain. What are you doing? No. So you can't jump over the sides. Is there a way to shoot yourself through it with the magic? Oh, God damn it. I think I'm just supposed to shoot her with an arrow. But not while what she's like that. What kind of arrow? Can you go into the ogre mo mode and then jump through it somehow? Huh. Okay, I gotta look at this ability, because... No, it's not that. Uh, nature's Retribution. Well, an enemy is... Oh, entangled! Oh! Mm -hmm. So in the wooden form. Oh, so that that's how you teleport through? Yeah. That was not what was explained. That was very... Sexy. What? My queen! Explain yourself. What would make you attack your own people? I was... I might as well just say it. I was jealous. You had left me behind and I... I simply couldn't stand it. As I wondered what to do, a darkness came over me. I've never felt anything like it. But I was so powerful. I felt as though I could win you back. If only I had this power. Instead... I forced you to set up a barrier between us. I was... I'm sorry. I forgive you, Sitsi. I was wrong, too. By shutting everyone off, I fulfilled my own prophecy. But thanks to Nuna and the others, no real harm has been done. Welcome home. My queen, I... I already know. My queen! Well, I guess that worked out for real this time. Yeah. Hey, so... I'm sorry about everything. I understand you were well-intentioned. But next time, gather a little more information before you strike, young warrior. Treat others with respect, and they will respect you in turn. You got it. Will everything be okay around here? Tsitsi is by my side again. She will help me to rebuild. I worry about the fate of my people should Kala come for us in earnest. But I see that you intend to do something about that. I do. And me too! Um, I'm coming too, okay? Great! Team Idiot is back together. Last place on the list, Iron Kingdom! Can we speak with the... with Tsitsi? But she's probably not gonna leave. So she... is this a continuation of before? Or let's I have see. no idea, but she's saying stuff and seeing as okay, you don't okay. want me to disregard dialogue, I'm not gonna <laughs> flip through it until you tell me to. My queen, I... 
I already know. My queen! Okay, it's just... My queen! My queen! My queen! My queen! 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 My queen, I love you! <laughs> Deserve that undying loyalty. a shaft of light, but not something that you can break through. Nope. Unless you're supposed to teleport through. No, I'd have you to know, tangle you, it. You can't tangle it with just, like, arrows can't go through walls. You're right. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Well then. <laughs> Everyone fall off a Works. cliff and then take the battle down to the ground. That worked better than expected, but also boo. Nice try. <laughs> right on target. Not the most accurate of salvos, but oh well. I'm gonna bark you out of the skies, <laughs> creature. Well, I should probably save. Uh, huh. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything that I've missed on this map. I have. Was there a ring cell? Uh, oh, there's that. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. The question is like, is there actually anything worth going out of my way for? Because there's that there as well, but I couldn't figure out how to get up to that. Uh, well, I guess the teleporter's at the very bottom, so I guess we might as well kind of make our way for that. Let, let's head over here first and check mm -hmm. that real quick. It's too bad you can't teleport between bells. Yeah, why is there no fast travel between bells? Wait, hold on. I think I'm going the wrong way. Uh... Oh, so you can view all their power attacks and training. Yeah. Not super important to me. I'd rather just kind of do it live. Okay. Get ready for... Uh, Who's that Rob? guy? Dunno. Never forget that you're stronger together, community. Makes us... Uh, <laughs> Maybe that was the guy with his bearded dragon or something along I don't those know. lines. All the irrelevant NPCs have returned. Oh, the huge vanity. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty sure I can't get through that yet. The greed is probably not a too healthy. The Iron Kingdom ability. Oh, I guess I needed that bird. Oh, you require that. Wow, I think I just killed it. Hey. Oh, what? Oh, you still got poked? I thought that the flowers were supposed to protect you. Uh, the hitboxes are kind of bad. Oh, ouch. Or maybe it's because you hit two with so much force into the flowers that the spikes poked through. I, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to chalk it up as either bad hitboxes or like the flowers don't extend all the way up. It's an either or situation. Don't underestimate me. Well, it's going to fall down and there's going to be no, no contest. I don't actually care that much. I got starts drowning down there. Blah, 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 blah. So those wooden, oh no, the wooden platforms aren't jutting forward enough. Yeah, so I actually got a slide oh. through that. Yeah, there was a slide. Hmm. Strike before they do. 
So I guess we want to just go over there and board. Right on target. One of the coconut frogs is there too. Bullseye. Look at the recoil. Ah. Disgust that the at the borks of dog. I feel kind of bad. We just hit this like point where we're just like stupid broken, and none of the NPCs, uh, none of the enemies can like really handle it. There's definitely been instances. Oh, that's how you slide out. I see. Yep. There's definitely been instances where people ponder superhero powers, and I I never quite understood. Was her name Banshee or something? The one X Men that would just screech. Uh, there. Yeah. I don't know if she was Banshee or Siren or something along those lines. But wasn't her ability just to screech Sorry, but it's at over. high pitched volumes and make people cover their ears, recoil, or just writhe on the ground in pain? Yeah, some X Men, I mean, just superpowers in general are just stupid by nature. They're people are saying she, yeah, she's Siren, Banshee is her dad. Weird, because aren't Banshee's female? Yeah. I... Hmm. <laughs> I had a Banshee toy, actually. He did? Yeah. Yeah, he had just, like, thin layers of plastic between his arms and torso. And he was okay. I had no idea who he was, because I don't think he really showed up in the cartoons. I don't know. I just look at a power like that, and I go, hmm. I suppose it's useful. The Siren dated Deadpool off and on for a while. I yeah, I remember that. But that was she like the old continuity, sort of, for Deadpool. Yeah. There's there so many continuities for comics. So. I... So, I was kind of talking about this earlier. Uh, I finished Invincible earlier today. Uh, which I'm actually pretty happy about. So, uh, for frame of reference of what Invincible is, it's a... Uh, it's an American independent comic written by the Walking Dead author. Mm -hmm. uh, but it has a set beginning, middle, and an end. No reboots, no nothing like that. They teased a couple of those, but they didn't actually, like, reboot anything. Mm -hmm. It was just, like, a moment where the main character is, like, drawn into the... into kind of, like, a facsimile of the past, or, like, maybe the actual past, and then he's just like, Nope, I don't want to be here anymore. This place sucks. And the, the thing that brought him there is like, But she'll doom the planet and he's just like tough don't care and then it was just done it was kind of like okay I, I kind of can respect that but it was very satisfying to that bird really wants to fight me <laughs> uh it was just very satisfying to experience uh american like superhero comics uh from the perspective of not wow Something that wasn't intended to be an ongoing serial for all eternity. Yeah, kind of. And it was actually very refreshing. Even if I had some serious problems with the story, it was still kind of like... It's done. And I feel enriched for it. Which is a feeling I just, just generally don't get from a lot of American comic book anythings. Uh, and so it's like, I like me some Deadpool, and I love reading the comics, but... There's just a certain sense of utility whenever I sit down to read any of it. Where it's just like, cool, I'm gonna read this incarnation of this comic book character. For a while. It's why I found and myself, when it came to comic books, only reading the Star Wars ones from... I would say the early oh, but that has a different flavor of utility to it. Now it does. But back then, there were new story arcs for different time periods outside of the movies or between the movies. And it sometimes featured characters that were only two-bit roles in many of the films. You know, I okay, loved I, all the I stuff will, with Ayla Sakura and Quinlan Vos and such. I will agree with that. Any uh, Anytime they had like a plot with a character that wasn't part of the main cast, mm -hmm. it actually was pretty rad. Because they usually had a set story uh, with a beginning, middle, and end, and that was canon for the character. 
Because why wouldn't it be candidate? You know, it was just say Wedge and Tilly's. Like I get really excited uh when I heard about Yeah, I still can't get through those. Uh, I got really excited when I heard about, uh, what was it? Uh, let's see. The, uh... The... It was... It was the Star Wars movie before Episode 4. Okay, so you're talking about Rogue One, right? Yeah, there we go. I got really excited about that. Because I thought they were actually going to have uh, Wedge Antilles part of it. Because they even referenced him at least part of the movie. Or they... I think they might have even had him as a character for like a smidge. But then, uh... You know, then they very quickly... They had a very expendable cast of characters, yeah, just switched. They just switched to their kind of like whoever people. And, I mean, nothing wrong with them necessarily. What about the Bothans? What about the Bothans? They, were, they never, ever let anybody live that down in the, uh, in the books. Like, holy crap, the Bothans were insufferable. <laughs> They're like... And it was interesting right because in the context of A New Hope, or... Yeah, it was at the end of A New Hope, I think, I they were mentioned when Mon Mothma and the Rebels were discussing their plan of attack, you know. Many Bothans die to, to give us this information, that kind of business. But back then... New Cannon says, what's a Bothan? Uh. I, I know, there was a whole species made for the Bothans. And they were playable characters in, what was it, Star Wars Galaxies? The, the first MMO that they had? Yeah, they were the kind of... Uh, well, I think they would probably be about maybe four feet tall, have longer muzzles, I think they, fuzzy. I think they were taller than four feet. You know, they I don't know. They were shorter than the average human. They never really showed them in any of the visual media, so I just always read about them. I saw them, at least in promo stuff for Star Wars Galaxies, and then maybe in a couple comics? But... It was interesting how they developed an entire culture around intelligence gathering and a spy network and such. But if you think about it, how did the Bothans manage to acquire the plans of the Death Star? And the thing is, they've they've actually retconned it a number of times. Do you remember? That I really wanted to play it. That one DS game with Rihanna Saren as the protagonist, the Twi'lek girl. I mean, we kind With of the have access sidekick. to it. I, I want to play that at some point, the DS game. But they actually had her doing some of the espionage required to get the plans to the Death Star. That was essentially the first precursor game that I knew of, or media. Oh, the Bothans are still canon. They stole the Death Star 2 plans, not the first Death Star. Oh. Huh? You know what? But Why could they have just had that be the Rogue One plot? Instead of stealing the first Death Star plans, it's the second Death Star plans. Would have had literally the same <laughs> effects. But they, they had to have stolen the first Death Star plans because those were the plans that were sent with R2-D2. And that's I, I, what helped them find I, out I think the, they the just faulty wanted, port. I think they just wanted it to be uh, relevant to Episode 4 so people would actually feel like they should care. They should know. have included at least a couple Bothans. Yeah. Or maybe an alien. That's that's what I hate. In all the comic books that I read, maybe it was easier because they didn't have to worry about makeup and costuming and such. But you had so many alien characters in the spotlight. You had Wookiee characters and Trandoshan characters and uh, Faleen and... Uh, Nikto and Rodians, I, 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 Togruta, Twi'leks, I could go on and on and on and on. All the various. They, they even invented a couple of races specifically for the comic series. But in any case, they also expanded upon a bunch of characters that were background characters in the movies. I mean, or a sing. 
She had a ton of comics featuring her. I love that. And then, oh, Vilmar Grok, the Deveronian. And they actually had a whole sequence where they were exploring Deveronia. But I, we can go along like Star Wars for an eternity. But it's one of those things where I, my greatest disappointment with recent Star Wars media has been that they don't have any protagonists that are oh, aliens. That's what I said right before I knocked him into next week. And did I ever tell you about the time? Bonsai! Oop. Oh, hey, Seed! You're up! Yeah, Ginseng brought me back with their resurrection leaves. I only did my duty as a botanist. Well done, fledgling! <laughs> so, I suppose you want to rejoin my crew. We were hoping you might take us aboard again, yes. After Ajna blew up Lon? Well, kinda. And her own first mate? I wouldn't call him that exactly. A pirate after my own heart, you are. Then you'll help? Of course. But I warn you, we can only sail to the Iron Kingdom. What? Why? You've been out a long time. Kala has been busy, and the seas are angry. Only the route to the Iron Kingdom remains clear. Well, that's better than nothing. Yeah. Thanks for the help, Baozai. Right. Let's head to the Teotul. See, if I've ever read the Amalgam comics, nope. And from a cursory Googling, it doesn't really seem like something I'm terribly interested in. Honestly, like, at this point, the only Marvel and DC media I will generally consume will just be... Uh, let's check the desert real quick, actually. <laughs> if you don't mind. Also, I love you guys, audience, talking about how they destroy the expanded universe for something that's a pile of refuse and... And yeah, yeah. killing off characters like Akbar. Like, I, I will admit, the the Star Destroyer ramming scene is still probably one of the most visually iconic scenes I've seen in a movie. Yes, but it was, at the, it was the culmination of a 30 <laughs> minute kind of dumb. plus sequence of them running. Those ships, if the First Order had more ships at their disposal, they could have had something hyperdrive ahead and you know, cut them off. You can't tell me that there are only four ships in their entire fleet, and that all of them had to slowly chase the Republic cruiser. You know what I'm getting at? Mm hmm. Uh. Well, it killed the shit out of whatever the hell that was. But yeah, it absolutely destroys a lot of Star Wars logic. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying, like, holy shit, that was visually impressive. And just like, more scene- uh, more movies need just cool scenes like that. Because that's still stuck in my head, right alongside- It would have been more impactful if Leia had been the one to do it, though. Special delivery. But they didn't know the circumstances around what would occur with all of the actors and such. Yep. But- I don't know. I try not to think about that movie. And quite frankly, I'm not enthusiastic about the next one. I will watch it if the reviews are really good. But the reviews were really good for the previous film, except so many fans hated it, and with good reason. The reviews were good the for some people. The reviews were bought. Is there they were clearly oh, no, bought. There's definitely something down there. Oh. Yeah, there's... Uh... But in any case, I suppose what all this spiraled from was you like stories that have a concise ending and have a focused overall character growth and plot line that results in a conclusion that is satisfying. Yeah. You don't have the perpetual serial that goes on forever. Yeah. And I'm kind of fine with forever stories, as long as they are contiguous, and, uh... <laughs> People are mentioning Luke. Don't get me started on Luke. I'm so upset. But in any case, <clears throat> back to episodic. But yeah, 
Yeah, I I think it's really just the medium. Superhero comics lend themselves to the whole villain of the week scenarios, if you know what I mean. And the problem is when they try to have the overarching storyline that ends with a conclusion, either the villain is thrown away into prison or presumed dead and there's some kind of closure in that instance, but you know that inevitably they're going to return. Or there is a solid conclusion, at which point they have to retcon the series with a new alternative timeline or a time skip or something along those lines. I just would feel so much better if, like, American comics were brave and were willing to create new characters and stories. So that's how you oh. get up here. Whoa, there are some red spikes? Are they Apparently. more destructive than... Oh, no, they're just probably a crystal of some sort. We... I was wondering how to get back to this area. Boom. That's yep. a nice statue. It is. We fell past him when the sandworm attacked, like a long time ago. Right on <laughs> time to explode some Nailed dags. Right on but I don't know. I, I'm trying to think, well, I mean, that's, that's why I started reading Invisible, because it's just like, hey, maybe, maybe they'll actually, like, not... We'll just recycle everything after the first round or two or something like that. Ooh, what's that? Um. So wind. that released some wind, but hmm. Yeah, we're supposed to, I was supposed to use that a long time ago. Uh, for puzzle solving. Oh, hold on. There we go. I don't know if we have anything up here. People are mentioning that Western comics are failing in comparison to manga. Yeah, I, I've read some articles about that recently, too. I mean, it's unsurprising. It's... I remember when manga really started to catch on, probably in middle school for, for us. Wasn't that the case? Uh, I was reading manga in elementary, but... That's kind of a uh, beside-the-point situation. Mm -hmm. Because when I started reading, uh, Inuyasha had been out for a while, but it was the era of Shonen Jump that I started purchasing. It was Dragon Ball Z with the Cell Saga specifically. Let's see. There was the very beginning of Naruto. There was Shaman King. Yukio was still going strong. What else did they have? And Shonen Jump at that time. Yeah, they had a short foray yeah, with Haru no Go and a couple of other series. I just remember the magical day where I found the uh, the Japanese, like translated Japanese section in the Blockbuster in Del Mar, California. Mm -hmm. And they had some weird ninja scroll. It wasn't ninja oh, scroll. Oh, ninja scroll. I remember always seeing those at the store, but were they rated M? I think so. Because I thought it was worse than Teen. I, I think so. I So, I've never seen Ninja Scroll. I don't remember the name. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I don't remember the name of this anime. I've brought it up before, and somebody, I think, had actually told me the name of it, but this was years ago, and I've totally forgotten. But it was about, it was about ninjas. And I don't know if there were ninjas in training, but there was, like, uh, a princess they were supposed to be guarding. Mm -hmm. And all I remember is, like, uh, good ninjas, bad ninjas. And one of them used, like, a scroll to transform into, like, a big monster at the end of it. There, huh. there was a lot. Maybe that's the ninja scroll. Yeah, but it wasn't ninja scroll. That's, that's the problem. It's, like, it's not ninja scroll, but... 
-hmm. All I can remember is the name Ninja Ninja Scroll, and I've totally forgot it. Let's see. Any comics or mangas that we wish we never read? Hmm. That we never read? That's an interesting question. Uh, well, it's one of those things where if I started reading something and wish I hadn't read it, I'd stop. 